What is up, YouTube? Hadouken5550 coming back with another commentary. Yes, three commentaries in a row. And we're going to talk about more on E3 and Sony. This time, we talk about Sony's press conference of E3 2012. Let's get started. Now, um, I don't want to, I'm not going in order because I'm going to say the things that I, you know, I liked and the things I didn't like. Now, the things that, I'm going to start with the things that I didn't like about Sony. Uh, just a few things, a little, little, little here and there. Um, the, that game with the, uh, the, that Wonder Book game, it seems fun. Don't get me wrong. It seems fun. And, um, uh, but, you know, this game is like for kids and, and I'm not, I'm not gonna, I, that's, that's one of the things I didn't like about it because it was kind of boring and whatever and, eh, you know, it's, it's, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool to do, you know, cast spells and all, and, and that's really nice, but it was just, it wasn't, I'm not gonna say it's a bad, but it was, it was boring, so, whatever, uh, anything else bad about the, uh, I guess Far Cry 3, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Far Cry 3, eh, I don't care, I skipped it, so, Far Cry 3, you know, it's, is you know one of those other you know one of those first first shooter games and I never I never was a fan of those, that game. So yeah, but I know there's gonna be a lot of good and here we go. So, um, man, this this game Beyond Two Souls, what a blockbuster game! I'm talking about that this um, uh, you know what is it Jolie or. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever her name is. I think that that psychotic weird chick, Jolene, Jolene, uh, I forgot her name, but Jolene something. But this, this was a great trailer. Um, it was like t talking about these guys from he that the the um, developers of Heavy Rain. Man, this game is gonna be. I think to me. Better than Heavy Rain, my opinion, because, man, just like the, you could tell that that really was suspense, man. That was, that game felt like that really was a million dollars. Um, and t talking about, you know, that the cop was freaked out. At first he wasn't freaked out because, you know, he saw this girl and this girl needed, you know, you know, she was like. Why did she, you know, why did she get beat up and what's going on? And, you know, cop need, you know the cops need to know these answers. And uh, the girl was just quiet, man. So she, wasn't, she wasn't saying a word. And, damn, this was, like, really, like, this is, like, an, like, it felt like a natural movie, man. I was entertained. That was really good. And then the craziest thing happens and you see the mug starting to shake. And it was, like, well, a a, a cup of coffee in there, and then when, when the the cops the cops said to the chick, oh, well, is that a scar in the head? That's where the when the cup went flying to the wall, and that was epic, man. That was really cool stuff. And then later on in the game, um, you see um, a, a group of of SWAT cops uh, going to the police station and looking for this um this chick, and then after we. You know, because they want to keep it, you know, low profile. They want to keep the game, you know, you know, you know. They don't want to like ruin the game. So I understand what they did. That was really good stuff, though. Um, you know, looking for that chick, and you know, maybe she was like really a a prime suspect or something. So that that was crazy, man. Um, like the whole the whole trailer was amazing from start to finish. I think this is gonna be one of the greatest one one of the you know best games. Of the PS3, and I know it's gonna come on uh, maybe later this year or next year, so who knows? Uh, next game I want to talk about is um, Assassin's Creed 3. I'm not a big fan of Assassin's Creed and all, but this game seems very, very, very promising. Um, you know, I like the whole you know, you know, the battle with the you know, with the ships, you know, with the Revolutionary War and all that stuff. That was really cool, man. Cause I, I'm, I'm a you know, I, I like the Revolutionary War. I like. You know, I like to study about the American history. You know, American history is really good. It's cool. You know, you want to know things. And um, this was this wasn't bad. You know, it was a, 
don't get me wrong, I'm not a big, big fan of Assassin's Creed and all, but, you know, the, the, the game play of this game was really epic, you know, with the, the, the you know, the battleships, and, and then at the end you see the, um, the group of, uh, of men from their, you know, respective ships, you know, fighting each other, that was really cool stuff, man, um, so, yeah, man, Assassin's Creed 3 looks promising, but, you know, is it worth the buy? Of course it is, but I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of Assassin's Creed, so I don't know. For me, I don't know. Um, next, I want to talk about um, God of War Ascension. Man, where do I start? <laughs> this game is beast, man. This game is beast. Talking about, you, you see... Um, Cradles, man. Talking about Cradles fighting these enemies like left and right, and he uh, he fights the um, like this white uh, goat like motherfucker with uh with like with the blades of Hades or the, uh, the blades of Athena. What was that? I don't know. It was like it looked like the blades of Athena, but whatever. Um, man, that was epic, man. That that was epic fight. Um, and then continues with like this like this octopus looking like like motherfucker. And like, with like you see tentacles and shit, and that was that was pretty cool, man. But it continues. Then he fights, um, I believe, like this. Uh, man, he look this 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 enemy looked like like Hades, man. I don't know, like he looked like Hades and shit. And but he had a like a fiery like like mallet, you know, like a fiery mallet, like you know, worse than Amy Rose from Sonic the Hedgehog, but this fiery ass like mallet thing and like. Like, Kratos was fighting this thing, right? And then, um, bro, like, it, this, the coolest part is that he got the hammer and bashed this motherfucker. I'm talking about that was epic. That was really cool. Um, and then continues, he fights this elephant like, the e elephant like motherfucker, man. Like, with, like, I don't know, like a weird weapon thing. I don't know what the fuck that was, but I don't, bro, like, towards the end, you see, like, Kratos stabbing that motherfucker in the head. Elephant like motherfucker, oh, <laughs> and that game was epic, man. And then at the end, you see, uh, you see a tentacle monster thing, and then Kratos like he jumps down, he tries to fight the thing, and then the, the end the game. That was amazing, man. What, what a trailer, what a gameplay trailer. Wow, that was, that was, I, I, I am looking forward to this game. This game is, I think this is gonna be my. It's gonna be hard because next to. God of War 2, because God of War 2 was the shit. Um, this game promises to be, um, I feel that it's going to be the best God of War game. I, I don't know. Um, so, you know, God of War 3 was a good game. I liked God of War 3, but I think this game is going to uh, deliver. And it's going to, like, well, I don't know. I just can't wait to play this game. So, hell yeah. Uh, next thing I want to talk about also is PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Uh, the game seems very, very, very awesome. You know, even though it is uh, the you know the competitors' uh, game like uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, and I mean I, I can understand that. You know, I didn't. I know I didn't touch on this subject about PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Uh, you know what? It's cool uh, how PlayStation is doing. Uh, their version of Super Smash Brothers, you know, because, you know, they have, they do have their own, um, you know, mascot, you know, their own, you know, exclusive characters onto the PlayStation, like Kratos and Fat Princess and Nathan Drake and, you know, the list goes on and on, Sly Cooper, Parappa the Rapper, or, you know, and, um, that, that man, that was a really cool, um, how the, you know, the, the four, you know, four people and you see the, the, the match and, um, they, they actually, what's different about this game and uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl is that this game, you level up. And when you level up to level 3, you actually do like a like a Final Smash version of it. And like, that, that's really cool. So they got like 3 levels of it. And um, I, li I like the way how they did it, man. That's pretty, that's pretty unique for, uh, for you know, a, a game like that, man. To do uh, level up and have like different types of, like, a different type of super... From that respective level, that's that was really cool, man. I, I really I'm really really looking forward to the game, you know. So you know I I put my hands I'll grab you know a, a copy of that game and 
I'll, I'll try it out because it, it seems very promising. And I, I remember towards the end, there was a, um, they named two uh, uh, characters uh, uh, for this game. Um, and it was one of them was Nathan Drake and the other one was, I'm not sure who it was. That one, that one was, I don't know, that one's mysterious, but um, I'll find out who that is um, pretty soon. Uh, what I'm missing, uh, um, Jack Treden, he was talking about, um, how, you know, PlayStation Plus, uh, subscribers, um, you know, get to, you know, you know, go over 1,500 titles and, uh, downloadable games and stuff, you know, he mentioned, um, um, you know, about Sony and the cross-play with, uh, uh, with different titles like PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale and Little Big Planet 2. And so on, you know. So that's really, really cool how um, that PlayStation now is like, uh, you know, multi-crossing from, uh, from you know, the Vita and the PS3 and playing the same game but with, uh, you know, different, um, you know, with like a, a handout and a console at the same time. That is unique. Um, that is really unique because I know Wii U and 3DS are doing that too. So, so Sony uh, for, you know... I think there's a first for Sony, because, like, for, for Sony to do that. But I think it's a first for gaming, because from a handheld and a uh, console, that's, that's really smart. Um, I know I'm missing a couple more things. Um, I believe I'm missing... Uh, I know... I think I'm, I'm not... The only, the only thing I'm missing... Oh, yeah. Uh, I freaking remember. Um <laughs> Uh, Call of Duty, they're actually finally going to make a game on the PS Vita. Great. It's, it's called uh, Call of Duty Black Ops De Declassified. So, uh, nothing new. I mean, we, we it's Call of Duty. What can we do? Uh, oh, yeah, and also there's um, another Assassin's Creed game. I forgot to mention. This game called Assassin's Creed Liberation. That game was good, man. A female... Um, Oh, a female protagonist in that game. That's awesome, man. Um, she she looks cool and and it's great to be on you know an Assassin's Creed man, a female. Hell yeah, thumbs up for that. Uh, and yeah, last but not least, if I'm not forgetting anything, I guess I might forget, but whatever. Uh, The Last of Us, that uh that trailer, that uh gameplay trailer for that game was the shit. Let me tell you right now. Um, the, the dude and the chick, they're, they're, I guess that, I guess they're the last of themselves surviving, um, you know, overcoming the odds against these, uh, like these people. Um, I don't know what, what is it really about this game, but it, this game is really awesome. Wow. I mean, talking about that, this, you know, this, this guy, you know, just fighting, fighting to, to survive. Um, man, the, the, the action that game is so brutal, man. I'm talking about. This guy, you know, you know, worst can you describe? He he just like, let me see. He he fight. He fought a lot of guys. I remember one he fought with. Um, the he just came up. Oh yeah, uh, this guy hide. He 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 hides from the back. He has like a like a lead pipe, bashes the motherfucker. But then dude, that motherfucker re, re, retaliated and just just pom pom pom. You know, jabs in left and right like Muhammad Ali, bro. Like Sugar Ray Leonard on that motherfucker, and then he got the pipe, bomb, and then he then he got in the neck, and then he, bro, he had a gun with it, and he was like starting to like you know take that guy hostage, and he was starting to point at other motherfuckers, shooting other motherfuckers, and then when when um when uh, he dropped the guy down, you know hear the the gun you know clicking, there was no bullets in in the gun, and you know and and it was so funny the guy says. Oh, that motherfucker. I know that sound. That motherfucker's run out of bullets. Let's kill that motherfucker. That shit was awesome, man. That that was really cool. And th <laughs> this game is going to be the shit. Let me tell you something right now. This game is going to be um, a hit. Let me tell you. I'll, I'll definitely play this game because, man, because like, these games are starting to become more like movie-like games, man. It's pretty epic. I mean, I know that you know we had the 8-bit era and all that stuff and the 16-bit era, but look... People, we have to, like, some people, if, you know, you guys, you know, the like, classic junkie gamers, you know, you know, this is 2012. I mean, we got to get to the future of gaming, and this is the future of gaming now. That, that's, I don't know, that shit is, 
That shit is badass. Um, Worst can display. The, 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 the Last of Us, God of War Ascension, um, that Beyond 2 Souls game, and Assassin's Creed 3. That, I think they were the best out of that conference. But overall, Sony press conference was awesome. That was a great press conference. I think... I think that was I, I, man. I'm really excited, man. Um, for all these all these games, man. Man, I I I I say this though. I'm so lucky I have a PlayStation PlayStation Three. Because <laughs> if I I would it, man, I will cry and say, oh, I gotta get a PS3. Oh, I I gotta get a PS. No, but I got one, man, and I I am excited. Uh, I'm gonna really have to you know get these games now, man. So I don't know. So yeah. Uh, so basically, that's it from the, for Sony press conference. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this uh, this video. Uh, comment do, comment down below uh, what do you thought about the conference. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, and, uh, and w why did you like it? Why do you didn't like it or whatever? Any any comments? You know, I'm I'm good with that. So you know, thumbs thumbs up, thumbs th thumbs down, whatever. Um, E3 uh, for Sony was awesome overall. Enjoyed it, great show. So, uh, we got one more show to go, and it's Nintendo. So, Nintendo's coming up pretty soon. Um, yeah, man. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. I'll do a 5550 signing off.